everyone. So, what I wanted to talk about was Jenna Marvel's video about why low expectations are good. And I know I'm a couple weeks late um, when talking about it, but you know what? That's okay. Um, so, what I wanted to say was that, yeah, she's right. Because, well, in my case, anyway, I know some people, they might think, oh, well, she's wrong, whatever. But in my case, I feel that she is absolutely right. Because since I have seizures and I also want to become a successful YouTuber and successful comedian stand-up comedian, uh, to be specific, it's kind of difficult to do either one if you have, like, such high expectations that, like, oh, well, if I want to do this, then I have to do this and this and this and this, and then that's just going to stress you out and blah, 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 and whatever and it's like my seizures sometimes they're just they're just like regular where it'll look like I'll stare at into space and sometimes they'll be very violent convulsions and and then after the convulsions I'll have like a period of time where I still can't talk and it's it's just like, it's like a 40 minute thing and it's, it's really scary and it's kind of like when you go on a roller coaster ride um, because you're, all your friends want to, but really you don't, you don't want to be alone even though you're terrified of going on the roller coaster and all through the roller coaster you're terrified. But when you finally stop, when the roller coaster finally stops, you're just like, oh, hey, I'm not dead yet, so that's, it's fine. Like, if you have such high expectations for things, you have to understand that you're, you're not going to enjoy life, you're not going to enjoy things. And... I feel like, sure, like Jenna said, you can have high goals and whatever, you can set goals and whatever. So I do set goals to become a successful YouTuber and comedian, stand-up comedian, like I said. And with that, I am not going to set such a high expectation like for example oh um if i apply for an amateur night uh then i'm gonna get it right away because so many people want to be comedians now it's not gonna be easy to to get a spot at amateur night right away and also <laughs> I kind of have a crush on Crystalia, but you know, it's there's no high expectation of oh, when I meet him, if I meet him in Montreal at the Just for Laughs festival, then he's gonna automatically want to go on a date with me and want to marry me and have kids and all that, blah blah blah. I'm that's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of, okay, well, if I meet him, that's great. But if I don't meet him, then that's fine, too. Because I'm still going to watch his show, because he's really, really funny. But it's not going to bum me out if he's busy or whatever. And with being a comedian... I don't expect to become successful right away. It's obviously going to take lots of work. And 
with most YouTubers and comedians, it took years before they became successful. So it's, for me, it's not, it's not about, like, how you do it, it's, it's about what happens after. Because if I fail, with this mindset, with, with low expectations, I won't be disappointed. And that's very important for someone like me who has seizures triggered by high amounts of stress. That is, like, that is crucial because that way I won't stress out about, okay, what am I going to do now because blah, 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 and whatever else. So I'm... I'm going to be happy regardless of whether I become a successful YouTuber and stand-up comedian or not. So it's it's really just just have low or no expectations. Um I'm not saying don't set goals because that goals are important, but don't have any expectation. I know a lot of people they they want to lose weight and whatever, and they're like, oh, well, I want to lose uh, 20 pounds um, by the end of the month, or I want to lose, like, 50 pounds by the end of the month, which is ridiculous, because, one, that's not healthy to lose 50 pounds in one month. It's, like, healthy to lose, like, maybe one to th one to three pounds in one week. That's when it's healthy. But, you know what, a life is a life, and it's just important to live it, you know? So, be happy. That's very important, because if, if you don't stress ab about things, if you don't give... Uh, more attention to things that don't matter then you'll be happy and I know that I'm not completely there yet and I still have to work on that but I might get there sometime sometime soon sometime later who knows just as long as I work on it it'll happen so, I just wanted to thank you, Jenna, for making that video. If you watch this, if you happen to watch this, thank you. Your videos are very awesome. Your podcast is awesome. You're awesome. And thank you, because you help a lot. Bye, guys.